For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. Didn't see you volunteering. We put our lives on the line to stop Solus, and we stopped him. And we've got the scars to prove it. Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arlet the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual. But something else got out. Someone else, supposedly. Elganon and Gilanane. Mithalanest. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. So Elganon and Gilanane are loose, which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them, let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp, and we'll... We'll find Ballara. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Eolin, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. They need you. Uh, fine. Since they need me. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you.
Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. So that suit of armor is moving. Got company. <laughs> Laura, Laura Luther. Strife and Eelin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. Wait, I know that name. But protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilanane, They've escaped from Fenharel's prison, and by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait, I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Eelin said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it, safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. just swirling into the air. We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. Thank you. 
Then let's deal with them quick. Any ideas on what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. Do you know what this place was? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Well, isn't this a sight? Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. Why would there be an armory this far out? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. way across. Think we can make the jump? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Wow, isn't that something? A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. energy. 
Hatch should be clear ahead. So you're really Nev Gallus? The detective from Minrathis? Last time I checked. I've read about you. You've gone after some powerful mages before, but Fen Harel? The real Fen Harel? And now Elganon and Gilanane, apparently. My actual gods are out there trying to end the world, and Nev Gallus is on the case. I just. I can't believe it! Someone met a bad end here. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. We'll have to take it down. Okay, easy enough. But watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Anything here that can help you piece together what exactly that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. I think I know what the artifact is.
So if this is an armory, what sort of artifact are we finding? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. today. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Sure thing! We've got company. Nice move, bro. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. Could the Elven Gods be commanding the Dark Spawn? Solus did say they were blighted. You saw those Dark Spawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them, once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. The wall looks weak here. I bet we could break it somehow. More dark spawn, right where you broke that wall.
And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Fingers crossed. the elven magic. Building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. More constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one.
another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. You're going to ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Fallen. So we take it in with good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. Oh, my God. 
wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nagas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nagas Dirthara. What do you. I guess it's broken, like the rest of the artifacts. It isn't just any artifact. That's the Nautis Durthalen, an archive spirit. And it does work. Or will, at least. Its crystal is broken. I guess maybe the blight threw its resonance off somehow. But I should be able to fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veiljumper camp. Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of veil jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nodis Durthalen. Wait, you found the Nodis Durthalen? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe, but we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know, but maybe. 
If we find them... We find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. to get there. Let's head to the dock. We aren't prepared. What you hear about Demeter's crossing? Veil jumpers have gone missing. Do we know why? Someone will have to go out there and find out. A lot of weird things lurking in the forest. I got the goods to kill most all of them. And now that we've met, do your best not to die, yeah? It can be rough out there. <laughs> That's the plan. If it gets too rough, just come back and I'll square you away with better bits and bobs. See ya. Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. A whole lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war it never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. I'm on it! We got it. What a view. That was the capital city, Arlathan. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day.
Rook, you ready to go? Harding, you sure you're up for it? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. than in the forest. They need to stay in. All of them. Inside. You okay? What happened to you? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Can you hear me? Just stay here, and everything will be fine. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. The town square! We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us, the best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Look at that. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there.
This blight is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there, two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? Look, more people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. One of your fellow veil jumpers. Alora. Jahel, he's alive. Belara. We're we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No. Yes. The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Sounds close.
I know you. You're the mayor of this town. The village. The people. Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. All this for gold? The villagers, the Veil Jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demeter's Crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blight! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? Leave him here. He can fend for himself. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. The people of Demeter's Crossing were depending on him. The least he can do is stay with them now. A steep price to pay. And we're the ones to choose it? Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have to show you what you crave. They speak to the darkness in your heart. No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. No. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gillanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elganon and Gillanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force.
They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gillanane shall require many hands. So, who are you, exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. Not if we stop it first. Ah, oh, the confidence of youth. You shall need a good deal more of it. I suppose you have some advice. Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his... well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods! And they're killing people and blinding the world! How do we stand up against that? We don't have a choice here. We stand against the gods however we can. Because if we don't, nobody else will. You get the Illuvian fixed at the lighthouse. We'll find the dagger. Let's figure out our next moves after that. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. You can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done.
I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. You didn't take the shot? I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. And we're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. <laughs> Look! There's magic lingering in the spot. Strong. Old. The dagger was here. Something took it. Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. Look, there it goes. Let's get this gate open. Look up there. That magical device. Let's keep on the trail. Hey. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it.
Look out! More dark spawn ahead. <laughs> nice one. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep working. Over there, our oh, dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. another one nicely done I mean it's gross but you can't argue with results
Dragon! beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. That's one. Now to find the other. Find that gate.
Well, that's a relief. That has to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger.
Watch it! You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. We're friends, so I'm going to be honest. It feels wrong. Bad. Really? 
Two elven gods escaped the Fade, and now this? What if it's connected? Okay, I know we need to be wary, but I think this is a good thing. I feel... connected. To? To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But, but this is more than the stone sense I know. You don't like what's happened, but it's not going to be a problem for us working together, is it? I trust you have this all handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And... I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans and all of Dwarven history, with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. <laughs> 